Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel this is our fifth video on DC reverse polarity protection we discussed using diode diode as a shunt as a relay using normally open points in video number 542 we discussed relay while using in normally closed points and today we will discuss how we can protect a DC circuit, how we can save a DC circuit using N-channel MOSFET. This MOSFET allows to pass the current when the voltage are in good polarity. We can use P-channel MOSFET and we can also N-channel MOSFET. P-channel MOSFET will used in positive line. N-channel MOSFET is used in negative line. Both will work same, just only this one N channel MOSFET will control the negative line. P channel will control the positive line. For normal circuits, N channel is suitable because you don't have to purchase a new P channel MOSFET. But for microcontrollers and some special devices, we need to control the positive line. In that case, we need to use a P channel MOSFET. While considering MOSFET, we need to determine the load current. For example, I have 4 ampere load current. Multiply load current with 2 or 3 to take a safe usage of this MOSFET. If our load is inductive load, in that case, we can multiply with 2.5 or 3. For safe range, for reverse stress on the MOSFET, the second parameter, while selecting a MOSFET, this is our power supply. How much positive and negative voltage are there? multiply by 2 or 3 with these voltage and select in that range or upper range the MOSFET. For example, our supply is 12 volt. We can select 40 volt, 50 volt. This MOSFET I did not purchase from market. I removed it from a supply, power supply. The third parameter in the MOSFET that is the most important factor RDS on. Resistance drain to source on. MOSFETs have their on-channel resistance that is milliohms. We can say there is no resistance. It will drop a very little amount of voltage. The most important factor that how much power it, it will dissipate. For example, this diode was dropping 0.7 volt. If the circuit was drawing 2 ampere, multiply with 0.7. So in that case, 1.4 watt. And it also drops the voltage. But this MOSFET does not drop too much. It drops in millivolts. Gate is connected to positive line. And we apply negative line to the drain. And we take the switched negative voltage from the pin number 3. Positive is supplied directly to the load. And negative is controlled by this MOSFET. It is 12 and 50 MOSFET. It has 12 ampere, 500 volts, and channel power MOSFET. So pin number one is at left side. If we place it in this way, gate, drain, and source. It's our RDS on is 0.54 ohm. Let's connect it. When we want to connect it, the gate is at the leftmost pin. For load, I am using a lamp. And we will take output from the pin number 3. That is the source pin. We will connect source pin. So this is load. These two wires are going to load. We connect it to source and the one line to the gate. And now we will apply one line, input line, supply line. Now these are the connections. These two wires are going to the load. Gate is common between the load and the input supply. And this line is the drain line. How this circuit will work? 
when we will connect ground line to the cathode of this recovery diode inside this MOSFET Now, when we will apply negative voltage at that brain, this is drain, this diode will become forward bias here. And the meanwhile, initially it will provide the path and then we will apply positive voltage here so that this MOSFET will switch on. If we re reverse the polarity, negative here, positive here, at that time, if we see positive voltage at this cathode, it will reverse bias. Now, if this is positive, at that time our gate is at ground potential. Gate need positive voltage, 4 volt threshold to turn on. That is the minimum voltage. This will block the circuit. Now, I don't know the polarity of the voltage. I want to connect it. So, it is illuminating. When I will reverse the polarity, this line here and this line here, it is off. In the input, we have 12 volt and now gate have negative 12 volt because this line is now positive. At the drain we applied positive voltage, so this time it is not allowing to pass the current. This time the polarity is reversed. We can also induct a reverse polarity indicator at this line. So whenever the polarity is reversed, this indicator will turn on and if the polarity is good when the polarity is good this circuit will pass the voltage so this circuit will protect the polarity from reverse voltage It is up to 12 volt, 20 volt, it's okay. If you want to use it for more voltage at that time we have to con connect a zener and a gate bicycle resistance to clamp the voltage. Friends I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative hit the like button. If you have any question please let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.